Once you've mastered creating a shape tween, you may want to do more than just morph two shapes together, but maybe you want to morph letters with the shapes or turn a shape into words. Let me show you how you can do that. I'm going to go ahead and on my first frame, in fact, let me just change the title and change this to text morph. And I'm going to save this as Miller dash text morph. Now I'm going to take some a shape, let's say a circle for example, and I want to morph it into some text. So I'm going to create a new keyframe over here. I press F, actually instead of pressing F6, I'm going to go insert timeline blank keyframe because I don't want that shape in there. I want text in there. And so I'm going to click on the type tool. I click and I drag a box and I'm just going to type in Miller. Let's say I want that circle to morph into my name. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger to change the font size. I highlight it. I come down here to the properties panel and I'm going to change the font size by clicking here and dragging and making it bigger. That looks good. I'm going to minimize the properties panel. So you can see I've changed the font. It's a bigger font. It's a skinnier font. And what I want to do is I want to convert this into text. If I right click and go create shape tween, it has a green dashed line. This broken or dashed line indicates that something's wrong and it is not working. Now what is wrong, let me go ahead and undo that, control Z is I can't morph this object into text because text is a raster or is a vector image and these this is a font I need to break this font apart so that it's no longer letters if I wanted to come in here and change the letters I can still do that but I want to break it apart so that the computer can read the image not as a font but just as an image so to do that what I need to do is press control B on the keyboard that's, that, that's short for break apart, or you can also go up to uh, modify break apart. What this has done, this has still left each of these as letters. I can click inside and I can change this box to something else, uh, but it's broken the letters so they're not connected with the other letters. So I've broken this apart. Let me go ahead and select all of these. You can see the individual text boxes for each letter. I'm going to break this apart again, control B. And now you can see these, um, these selections are showing me that the text no longer is a font. I can actually select part of the text and I can move it or I can reshape the text simply by clicking and dragging. So now I've converted my text so that it is no longer text, but is just a picture of text. Now with that converted, I'm going to right click and go create shape, shape tween. And now you can see from my point A to my point B, it converts the shape into the text that I have created. Now this is where hints become really handy is you can take the, and add a hint on point A, modify, shape, add shape hint, and you can actually specify different points. This was shown in the previous video, but this is a more specific example of when you can use shape hints to make everything look how you want it to. Then you come to the last point and you choose where you want these points to be. So I'm going to go ahead and just choose A at the top right, B there. And now when I press enter, Okay, so it doesn't quite read the hints quite right, but you can use the hints to to enhance or change how this works. If you don't like the hints, for example, you can see mine kind of messes it up. If you go to modify shape, oh, let me click out of here. Let me go back to the first part. Modify shape, remove all hints, and I'll get rid of the hints for you. So this is how you can morph text into something else or morph one letter into another letter is by first of all breaking apart the text by going control B or modify and then break apart and then you do it again and then you can morph the text.